All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. So, thanks to Todd, also known as Gorilla here in the community, we have a look at an older, but in stock, uh, Spyderco knife. Uh, this is one that kind of, I looked at it years ago, and I was like, when it first came out, and I was like, yeah, it's kind of cool, but it didn't really appeal to me, and now I see why so many people liked it. This is the Spyderco Ikuchi, uh, made in Taiwan, of course. This is not a U.S. Spyderco. Uh, it is a Taiwanese made one. Let me go through real quick. Uh, these are available at Blade HQ, $170.80. Um, 7.61, I'm doing this out of order, guys. Just bear with me. 7.61 inches overall, 3.26 inch blade uh, length. The cutting edge is 3.18. Uh, point uh, excuse me, 0 0.09 blade thickness. This guy is very thin. That is TRM Atom uh, width right there. Uh, handle length is 4.35. Uh, handle thickness just 0.44. Carbon fiber black, 2.10 ounces. Uh, made by, uh, it's made through Spyderco, but in Taiwan, designed by Paul Alexander. And of course, it's a flipper, but it is a really interesting flipper. So you've got this carbon fiber, and guys, this carbon fiber has some really cool texture to it. It's actually really, really nicely done. It's it's very interesting looking, but it almost has this woven feel to it. Um, you do have a wire clip cut out here, so I guess you could put a lynch clip on there if you wanted to. I think it looks cool like it is. Chamfered off, uh, flat scales. It is exposed liners, but they are flat uh, to the thing. And then you've got uh, the blade that fits exactly inside the handle. Uh, there's a hole in the blade that lines up with this hole in the handle. That is flipping cool. We will see that. So basically, I'll go ahead and flip it open. The, the blade is pretty much, not quite, but pretty much the reverse of the handle, which is just ridiculously cool. Uh, I'm gonna wipe that blade down. I don't know what I have all over it. Give me just a second, but um, just this thing has really, really impressed me. I have enjoyed uh, carrying it. Now, um, it is a uh, compression lock. Um, a little tight on that, and we'll talk about that, but very, very cool. Now, what your flipper is, is you have this round flipper with a cutout here, and this thing is brilliant. Um, I love it. I don't know why I didn't pay more attention to this before, but basically what you do is engage your finger, okay, any way you want. I mean, you don't really want to do the tip. You want to put it where you have room to roll and then just pull back. And it is, the D10 is it, it just perfect. Now, you do have on the blade Spyderco and CPM S30VN. And over here you have the um, Paul Alexander's logo and Taichung Taiwan and the Spyderco uh, Spider, of course. You got your hole, which is just decoration. Um, and this ridiculous, it's kind of got an upswept, uh, but it's more of kind of a, I don't know, drop point Persian something. I don't know. Really fantastic blade. Now, does it cut, you're asking? And wow, I got a ginormous, hold on guys. I got to cut down this piece of cardboard real quick. All I had sitting over here was a ginormous piece that wouldn't have fit on camera. So had to cut it down and you could tell it already cut. Let's make sure I don't have a label. No. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it is thin. I mean, it's 0 .09, so it's going to cut. Um, and it is a full flat grind, as you can see. So, very, very, very nice. And it's an elegant-looking knife, in my opinion. Now, you do have a four-finger grip, no matter how you slice it. No jimping, uh, but again, you guys know I've never been big on, oh, i got to have jimping for this to work, it, do, it doesn't matter to me. You can choke back here, and you've got kind of a hump there. Um, you can go up here. Now, it's very thin, so if you don't like that, then that's not gonna feel great to you. But uh, I think it's fine. You do feel the clip back here, because it's, it's kind of a more squared off wire clip. Uh, but again, I don't consider it a hot spot. It's just there, uh, and it would be there on either side. Really, I mean, it is very thin, and that's the reason you feel it more than you normally do on a wire clip because it's very thin back here at the back of the handle. 
uh, which is, is really cool. Now, let's talk about that compression lock. The compression lock, uh, you don't have a lot sticking out. I don't think you guys could fit uh, one of the CMEs, uh, the, uh, you know, the compression made easy or whatever they're called, uh, from OCD for EDC. Now, look, I mean, did you see that? This thing is an absolute dropper. Um, and by the way, that jimping up here is pretty aggressive. So after a few times, you do feel it a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, jimping down here for your grip, very cool. I mean, you do have um, you do have a little bit of skeletonization, but we'll talk. Well, I did talk about the specs. It's like 2.1 ounces, so didn't need a lot because it's such a thin, uh, small knife and uh, the blade is small there's not a lot of steel and so it's only 2.1 ounces really cool now lockup feels great no up and down no side to side um just the inner workings are really cool on this knife dead centered comes mostly out here you do have a barrel spacer at the end so it couldn't come uh but so far there you have a barrel spacer here and i think it's interesting there you've got a barrel uh, for the clip screws, you see that, like, um, you know, so that'll act as like uh, some rigidity as well. That's kind of an interesting design, if you ask me, as well. It's a way to get around having a full backspacer, which they didn't really have room for. So I, I love looking at stuff like that because it gives me ideas for future designs. As a matter of fact, I was working on something uh, yesterday, and uh, that was an idea that came up. I didn't end up using it but it was something to, uh, to think about. So uh, really, really cool. Now, um, again, I appreciate Todd um, sending that in. Now let's see, I've got, I got, see I went out of order and now I'm all confused. Oh, terrible person. So here is the Ontario Rat 1 for your comparison. And here is the Ontario Rat 2. Now what I didn't mention, I don't think, maybe I did, uh, these are available at Blade HQ for $170.80, and I will have a link. Now, this is S30V. Um, it is carbon fiber uh, for the handle, 2.10 ounces, as I said. And, uh, yeah, one, $170.80. I mean, it's it's a small knife, but, man, it it is super, super cool. I just I don't know how I just ignored that one for so long and how... You know, I, I feel like it's just been ignored, period. Um, not just by me. So, really cool. Now, it may not be your style, uh, and you can let me know that in the description, but to me, this is a fantastic uh, little knife. And again, yes, it is tied on the on the lock there. It, it, you got to really kind of uh, get your finger in there to close it. So, that is kind of my biggest complaint on the knife is just I wish there was a little more room, but I mean, they were trying to keep it really small and light, and you couldn't go any deeper, or you would have been right up against that blade. You can see the blade, I don't, well, you probably can't see, but the blade is right there. So if you made that cut out any more, you would be touching the blade. <laughs> so they did what they needed to do, and you basically, so you end up kind of digging your fingernail in there, which is fine for me. Um, but there you go, guys. Really, really cool. Spider Coat Ikuchi. Uh, let me know what you think of this one. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you, Todd. Do all the things, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.